So, Carl, um, good good win away from home. What do you, you think of that one? Yeah, yeah, they're always great when you win away from home. Um, and again tonight, you know, we scored um, four good goals. Could have maybe had one or two more. Um, so, you know, they made it difficult for us, you know, because they were a very aggressive pressing team. And and when we managed to play through that, we, you know, generally ended up with a good opportunity at goal. So, um, very happy with the boys. You know, the, the performance they put in tonight was excellent. Goals off turnover is such an important thing. Were you happy with how you managed to put away those chances tonight? Yeah, most definitely. Look, we, um, I, I think we pinched a lot of the ball off of them with our pressing, the way that we got them to, to play. Um, so that's full credit, you know, to the, even to, in the second half, um, you know, when we changed our shape a little bit, um, when Ethan and Louis went in, um, into those 10 positions, they were fantastic and pinched a lot of balls and, you know, made it very difficult for them. Hard not to talk about Craig, uh, to, you know, goal, to assist, how, what do you make of his performance? Tonight? Yeah, look, Craig has, um, the last month he's been, um, you know, back to his, his form that he was in last year. You know, he had uh, that little bit of a down period um, when he came back from the World Cup, which, you know, you would expect. But now he's back up and flying. You know, he, you saw that again tonight with his quality. You know, he, um, you know, and when he's playing at that level, you know, it's um, great for our team because we know that, that when he get opportunities in the box and we just have to make the good runs because Craig will find you. Ben O'Halloran, how's he holding up? What's happened there? Yeah, look, Ben's been carrying a, um, a shoulder injury for a couple of weeks now, and when he, he just landed on the shoulder again, um, so it's um, just was no good for him. Um, you know, he's um, you know he's been playing under a little bit of duress the last couple of weeks, so um, yeah, he's um, will now have a, a couple of weeks break. You know, with the suspension that he'll have next week as well, but um, I don't know if he'd get up for next week with the shoulder. Um, Luca as well scoring his first goal and his first start. Were you happy with how he how he handled himself? Today? Yeah, look, yeah, he was um, excellent. You know, for a young kid, um, you know, this is his first um, full time. You know, in the year this year with a, with a, our program, he's been in our youth program for a couple of years, and he's made that step up now to the to the men's, um, and he's been developing really well. And he's a goal scorer, Luca. That's what he is. That's his um, talent uh, of being in the right place at the right time all the time. And um, you know, he worked extremely hard again tonight, um, did what we wanted from him. Um, and now it's just a matter of him building his fitness so that he can last longer than what he did tonight. Uh, you talk about the young youth. I think you're, the average age, age of your bench was under 20. Um, you lead the league in you know, youth minutes. How are you happy with the youth development, this, especially this season? Yeah, look, it's, it's a principle of, um, of the club and the way that I want to coach as well. Um, having spent so many years in youth programs, um, you know, we're very, sometimes can be scared to give young players opportunities, um, but young players, um, they don't let you down. Yes, they're going to make mistakes, um, but they, um, if you give them belief, um, they can come on and, and do really great things. Um, you know, I always say that um, we'd rather take a young player than a player that's maybe been around the A-League a little bit. Um, we'd rather invest it into our young players. You talk about great things, 45 minutes for Aaron Kunda, what do you, you think of him today? Yeah, Nesta is, um, you know, I just love watching him play. I think everyone does. Um, he's exciting. Um, he does things that no one else can do. Um, and he's getting better. You know, this, um, we've seen a, a huge change in his attitude in this last month and a half, um, and that's shown in his performances. Um, and his work rate has lifted, and which has given him a lot more opportunities. Um, um, but he's still, you know, 17, still got a long way to go. Um, but um, he's heading in the right direction. That's three goals and three times off the bench for him now. Is that something, you know, he's sort of a real impact player that you can rely on when you bring him off the bench? Um, yeah, look, it's, you know, um, when you're a young player coming off the bench, sometimes things won't go for you, but as um, long as you do the work and put yourself in the right um, positions, then, you know, it can happen for you. And it's about now, you know, Nesta is um, building and he's getting more minutes and... Hopefully, you know, we can um, consider starting him soon. With, with, sorry, with these young guys, I mean, there's a production line that you've produced over there. What do you look for them when you know, that, OK, this kid's ready? Because you know, some kids can jump in and like deer in the headlights, whereas the ones you seem to give an opportunity to, they just revel in it. They, they don't go the other way. Yeah, look, it's, I've um, said that to quite a few of the young boys that we've given opportunities to this year. Um, we put them in and see how they go. Um, you know, we're not, yeah, we're not scared to give them an opportunity um, and we just let them go out. We don't give them too much information, let them play their normal game because um, to get to where they are, they've, they've got talent. 
Um, and it's a matter of them, you know, working and, and doing the right things. And we give them the opportunity and we say that to all of our young boys, um, not just the young boys that are with us. Um, we work closely with our, our youth team in the NPL um, and they all know as well. You know, they get to come up and train with us a, a fair bit. And if they do well, that they will be given those opportunities. You know, we provide three, four um, positions in our A-League squad every year for, for our boys in, in the NPL. They all do frat flips. <laughs> There's a few of them there. There's, yeah, so we've got some more, a couple more exciting ones coming through as well. So it, it's good. Yeah, as you mentioned, Nestor is the not so secret weapon off the bench. Um, with Halloran uh, missing next week, uh, does Nestor kind of have a chance of starting there? Yeah, he, he definitely. He, he definitely does. You know, he he showed tonight that 45 minutes. He worked hard for that 45 minutes. Um, so he. You know, I said to him, if he'd only done two flips instead of three, he might have got that second goal at the end. Um, but, um, yeah, look, we'll keep working with him. But, yeah, there's a, there's a great possibility that he'll start next week for us. Hey. So you, you mentioned a slide before, but, um, yeah, definitely that youth kind of working with your tactical style. Um, just that explosive kind of energy you bring definitely at the start of the games. Um, can you just expand on that a little bit? Like, what are you looking to do with those young players? Yeah, look, it's just about um, providing them a, a, a good platform and a safe platform where they can go out and express themselves. Um, it's nothing worse than being a young player and that you go out and you're scared to make a mistake or scared to do stuff or, you know, that you're going to get shouted at by the coach and it's important that we um, support them and that's what I do with the young players. I don't, um, you know, we have certain demands from them in where they, what they need to do, um, but tactically they're learning the game and that's what Nestor is... Um, needs to do is learn his tactical positioning um, and it's all of them you know we spend a bit of time with them and and trying to improve them to get them to to that next level because we want them all to go on and, and play um, you know in Europe hopefully. How do you develop um, a player like Nesta's fitness is it uh, you played at 45 is it just listening to their body is it, uh, is it yeah. a slow increase? Yeah look um, as I said Nesta is 17 he's this is his second full year in our program and before that you know he's been playing youth football which, you know, it's a huge jump, even from MPL to A-League. Physically, it's a huge jump, and, and it takes time. You've you got to build that endurance up over over years. Um, you just, um, unless you're naturally a fit person, and Nestor's not that built like that way. He's a explosive person, so he needs he needs time to build that endurance up. Carl, to use a cliche, we're getting into the business end of the season. Um, can you catch City, or is a top two finish more realistic than you? Yeah, you, you never know. And I, I say this, and I know it's, as you say, cliche, um, we, we just focus on ourselves. We're not looking at anyone else. Um, and we know um, what we've got, is it seven games left now? And um, we've got five of them at home. So, you know, we know that we've got a good record at home. And if we just look after ourselves uh, and, you know, next Friday night at home at Wellington, um, you know, we get a, hopefully get a big crowd again there that support us and make it very difficult. And, and that's all we can do. It's nine unbeaten now, so you think you can keep that going to the end of the season with the 500 um, Yeah, you'd like to hope so. Um, you know, we're building, I think we're improving every week. Um, we had that, you know, inconsistent period for a while. And, you know, it's it's make, it's hard for me not to look at, you know, you know, we've given goals away, we've given three goals away after 90 minutes this year. That's cost us points. Um, so, you know, we've... I suppose, as you can say, we've been a little bit under the radar a little bit, um, but we've now showing that we we mean business and we're going to be pushing for, as you say, for those top spots.